thank you very much for staying with us here on uh, Nile Cruise, dear viewers, and welcome back. Uh, uh, as Egypt is uh, hosting uh, the world, uh, inshallah, Sheikh, the city of peace for uh, COP27 and trying to unite the world in an effort to save the planet uh, for the sake of mankind. Uh, the um, COP27 is focusing on scaling up and implementing an on-the-ground transition through the delivery of financing technology and political commitment for uh, clean energy and sustainable uh, development, again, uh, for the sake of uh, uh, mankind. Uh, uh, and uh, we are delighted to have with us here on Nile Cruise uh, uh, writer and researcher, uh, Dr. Taha Ali. Uh, Dr. Ali, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, you're welcome. So, I mean, Egypt hosting the world, trying to unite the world in an effort to save uh, uh, the planet and an effort to bring, uh, you know, uh, climate justice, uh, if you will. So, um, what can you tell us about the importance of such a, a great event and, uh, you know, what it means for Egypt uh, playing this leading role globally uh, in this very noble cause? Uh, first of all, we have to see that it's a very important uh, global uh, event. Its importance comes from its the, the nature of uh, climate change problem all over the world. If we understand well the, how, it is, how it affects the world, uh, we will and understand also how it is important for Egypt to host such great efforts. First of all, such great uh, the, the climate change problem is not uh, warmer. It's not the uh, increasing of the temperature uh, of the earth. It's uh, it's it it's not that only. Yeah. It's not only the, uh, the, the it's the only one. Uh, there is um, uh, several problems like uh, floating, like uh, increasing sea levels, uh, droughts. And uh, that will affect food security. Will affect for food sec security yeah. also. I, I mean that it's a great and deep uh, uh, global crisis. Hosting such important event uh, g gives Egypt a very important and great position in the uh, world arena, world politics. As Egypt is able to host and organize such event, uh, and it, c it could bring the world leaders to find to discuss and find solution for such important uh, crisis. Also, there is a problem: uh, the uh, uh, industrial countries contribute to. To huge share, and m they have the major share of the resources of this problem. Egypt here uh, plays an important role in, in negotiating and uh, settling and uh, bringing uh, them together to find uh, a settlement and a s uh, solution for such important uh, problem. Indeed, uh, uh, Egypt speaking on uh, on behalf of Africa in this uh, yeah. summit. And this is the issue about climate uh, justice that uh, the world is, uh, you know, or at least the developing world is talking about. I mean, it's not the developing world that has polluted uh, uh, the atmosphere the most. It's the developed world. Yet, it is the developing world that is paying the price. So your uh, intake on this. In this point, we have to speak about uh, a problem that is, is climate insecurity. Climate in, uh, injustice, sorry, uh, climate injustice, that is the major participants and major uh, contributor of such problem in the developed and industrial countries. The developing countries, especially in African continent, are suffering too much of this uh, problem. They, uh, they have at least two, three, or five percent of sharing this, uh, this problem, but they pay the most, the hu a huge percent of its costs. So. Egypt uh, speak and uh, 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 transform its the African voice to all over yes. the world. We have to tell the world that we are not the only contributor of this uh, problem. You have to, uh, there is, there is, it should be accountability. The uh, Western countries and industrial, industrial countries should, should turn their actions, their commitment into actions. As if we come back to the, uh, the uh, Paris Agreement on climate change, the world countries have their commitments. After the uh, Paris uh, Agreement, all leaders talking and talking, just talking, but no, no actions. Here in African continents and the African world, uh, we 
pay the cost, but we don't share. The, the Western leaders have to, uh, have to pay and have to, ha they have to take the responsibility in this problem. Right. Experts, uh, Dr. Ali, have always raised concern about how climate change affects food security. So what kind of global action must be taken in order to limit the effects of climate change regarding food security specifically? First of all, there has uh, there have to be a, a, a real coordination between the countries and especially for on the aspect of the financial supports to the poor countries to find uh, to find a solution to their uh, to, to 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 take over to, to to get over their problems to uh, s to solve their uh, food problems and also uh, the uh, conflicts around the world especially in bet between Russia and the European uh, actors uh, should be solved in the f uh, in the near vision and uh, because it's 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 the main cause and main reason for the world uh, the world problem on the food security and uh, as you know um, Ukraine and uh, Russia mm. uh, share at least 25 to 25 percent of the uh, supply of the carbs and the other uh, other goods they have to solve their problem because all over the world are affected by this uh, so there are many uh, uh, many st steps should be taken are uh, should be by should be taken by the countries and the leader from the all over the, the globe. I think this is, is it will be the main uh, point to disc to be discussed uh, within the COP27 in Sharm el Sheikh, inshallah. How, how far adaptation adaptation with the, with the environment uh, can save uh, money? I mean, there is adaptation. Uh, uh, in, in all fields, I guess, so. I think it, uh, it will affect greatly. Uh, it will affect the uh, climate change, will affect the uh, economies, and will affect the food security, and will affect the health of people. The, so there we have to spread the awareness of the, of the climate change the, to avoid such effects. And it will affect also the uh, the agriculture. Will affect the uh, the health of people. So it uh, actually it seriously affects the all aspects of life. Whoever not not in the countries uh, like Egypt, like developing countries all over the world, will be affected also. Right, and uh, so the importance of raising awareness, uh, Dr. Ali, uh, to the issue of um, climate change. Uh, here in Egypt and uh, and globally, I mean, uh, perhaps a few years back or um, uh, a couple of decades ago, uh, uh, people around the globe thought that this was an um, y you know uh, an issue of luxury or something. Uh, when we talk at uh, when the world talks about uh, you know environment friendly uh, um, business or saving uh, the world from. Um, you know, the potential natural disasters uh, resulting from uh, carbon emissions and, and, and climate uh, and global warming. But now, I guess, you know, many people around the world uh, realize that the issue uh, is not a luxury one, it's a very important issue. So my question is, um, how important is the factor of raising awareness, to continue to raise awareness about the issue uh, here in Egypt and globally? because? Although awareness has risen, it's not, you know, at at 100 percent. I think it's a mat it's matter of of media and uh, actors in shaping public opinion all over the world, not e in Egypt uh, uh, only, but I think in in Egypt here we, in the recent years, we uh, the, the the voices of awareness of the climate change. I think it's uh, it's uh, it's. Uh, became clear that we have a good awareness of the climate change problem because of, as the President Abdel Fattah has seen many times, he speak about this point in his speeches and also in the uh, drama we, s we, we became listening uh, listen too much about this problem. I think it's we have to put more efforts uh, to spread the awareness of this uh, problem in the schools uh, and uh, uh, cultural events in all over the country. But I think it's a good 
to to host such a, uh, I think hosting such event COP27 also it will be great step to put more efforts to spread the awareness in uh, among the Egyptians of the climate change and the people for the first time uh, to be uh, to know that they are involved to find a solution for the climate change the simple citizen in the streets uh, should have should to, uh, to, to have his to, to take his responsibility to spread awareness to uh, help the governments in the cleaning streets in the don't uh, throw pollutions in the, uh, the river nile and the source of water also i think it's uh, it's it's responsibility of all society and the government only also there is a, a, a an important point the uh, partnership between the government and the, the private sector to spread all the uh, mega projects for environmentally uh, environmentally friendly uh, mega projects that uh, carried out by the government also should be taken as a responsible as a responsibility for the private sectors uh, private sectors uh, is responsible for at least 80 percent of egyptian manpower and in, in to be involved in such a great uh, and environmentally uh, envir environment friendly mega projects it will also indirectly spread the the awareness of uh, of the climate change because you are you will be a, a, a real actor, a real uh, player in, uh, in solving such a, uh, such a problem. I think it will be through your participation in such projects. Right. Uh, a transformation to uh, uh, um, environmentally friendly uh, industries, transformation to a green economy, if you will, uh, is a must. The world has come to realize that. Um, how long do you think it will take for the world uh, to trans, you know, to make the uh, the switch, to make, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, this is part of adaptation, to resort to uh, renewable uh, energy sources, to cleaner uh, energy sources. Uh, according to Paris Agreement, it's tw it bought a selling to uh, 2050 as the selling to to uh, to reach a zero emissions of the carbon dioxide from uh, all over the world but i think it's very difficult especially uh, uh, under the great uh, under the bad circumstances around the world the uh, ukraine war and uh, and uh, many problems around the world and also the, the 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 world leaders should be more serious to take this point this point in their cons considerations and not to p politicize it, it, it this should Mm. deal it as a human problem not a political right. uh, problem so right. yeah very important point yeah, yeah but in egypt here we uh, in the recent years we uh, we are about uh, the national strategy for uh, expanding uh, and the great economy and uh, as a part of the our vision our na national vision to uh, deal with the uh, climate change problem uh, uh, we ha we saw m many and many uh, projects by the Egyptian government like uh, expansion of uh, green economy uh, and electric trains in uh, monorail and other projects in Egypt also and the uh, transfer hydrogen hydrogen uh, yeah. uh, green, hi uh, green, green hydrogen, hydrogen also and uh, but the, the the great point in this in this axis is the the, the citizen is about to s this de this debate it's, it became uh, as a part of the uh, daily debate between the Egyptians that what about high green hydrogen? What is what is the climate change? I think it became the uh, part of the the uh, the popular awareness of, uh, among the Egyptians. I think this point is a great achievement by the Egyptian government, by the media, by the uh, public opinion to to put this problem among people to be uh, among uh, among their uh, uh, their life. So where awareness is here. Awareness is here because the, f the, the cornerstone is not only the government, not only the partnership between the government and the private sector, also everything starts from the, the citizen. Because his, mm -hmm. he should uh, adapt his behaviors with the, 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 uh, the broader vision of the countries. Thank you very much, uh, uh, p political expert, uh, writer, and researcher, Dr. Taha Ali, Thank for you being with us in this segment of Nile Cruise. Thank you. Dear viewers, please stay with us. Uh, Nile Cruise will be back after this short break. <laughs>
It's the world's most witnessed event. The mother of the world invites you to confront together the climate crisis.